These airmen are in the running to attend one of the most difficult military schools across all branches, Army Ranger School. Today is day one of the Ranger Assessment Course. However, upon completion of the course, only a few are selected to attend Ranger School. So the first few days is uh, more to see if the students are actually on the, uh, physically capable of completing the course. So we start off with a PT test, they have to complete 55 push-ups, 65 sit-ups, they have to complete six chin-ups, so a five-mile run. Um, also part of what has been graded is a 12-mile ruck, they have to complete three hours. Also, uh, students need to be good swimmers. Rangers! They need to complete a combat water survival test. The second and third day is uh, land navigation, so students receive a class here on how to navigate in uh, all terrains pretty much and also have to uh, go ahead and execute and, and find several points, grid coordinates in the land navigation course. Students are graded on their ability to push past their own limits and perform the essentials taught to them earlier in the course. Um, I want to say it's a, it's a combination of lack of sleep, lack of food, uh, staying focused, um, operating 22 hours a day, um, all that combined, I want to say, makes it really challenging and difficult. It's definitely takes its toll on your body, mentally, physically, um, not to mention the, the, the stress and the, the environment that, that you get put into and the, the sleep deprivation. Even though the course is physically demanding, instructors say that leadership is one of the hardest and most important lessons to learn here. Since we're all in the military, we all should be ending up in a like ground combat situation. However, besides that, um, the main factor of the school is the leadership aspect. I got two KIA, check that three KIA, black. So leadership is not necessarily always in the field. It's also how to run your squadron. Leadership skills taught in this course can help airmen not only build their team, but also further build upon themselves. Of pressure that's put on you to do the right thing, to be that better person, to constantly seek self-improvement is what ultimately comes from this, this course. It's not just, hey, I can suck it up and make it through 62 days and I'm good to go. It's the day in, day out, every day after that, that you have to step up to the plate. I have to show that I can be the best and do the best at anything that I do or anything that you put in front of me. Right, man. Ten put. Only the most qualified airmen will get to represent the Air Force at Army Ranger School. 21 airmen started the course, 15 completed it, and only three will be moving forward to Ranger School. Right, 15 days ago, we had 21 Obviously, we as a team grew closer. We started off with, you know, 40 plus people that signed up, and now we have 15 at the finish line and people quitting and getting hurt along the way. And uh, that brings that brings you close together. That brings you. Uh, that gives you something, something to be proud of, something to remember, and something that uh, makes you almost like brothers. Airman First Class Taylor West. Seven minutes! Nevada Test and Training Range, Nevada.